welcome to Naresh I Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to talk about what are the legal and illegal combinations of referenced variables. The first one, if you are writing both, both static and non-static reference variable, reference variable and simply static and non-static object creations of same class that is what uh, invalid or illegal. Another one both static and local object creation of same class is what you are valid. Now one more both non-static and local object creations of same class that is what invalid. According to last two videos in my playlist, we can conclude about these three statements static and non-static of object creation of same class invalid and static and local object creation is valid and again non-static and local objects creations of same class is what are invalid. So, let me explain already I showed you programming on top of these two points and now in this video I am going to be talking about programming and in depth explanation of about this statement. Now, observe here I am taking I am taking here non-static reference object creation, non-static object creation, object creation and this is what uh, local object creation, local object creation. So, if you am writing these two definitely we are facing one problem that is what uh, stack overflow error, stack overflow error. Now, observe here let me give a very in depth details related to these points. Yeah, concentrate. First, whenever we loading any dot class file from secondary memory to primary memory, definitely static loading phase is going to be started. In the static loading phase, all the static variables is going to be loading and initialized. Here, the first uh, programming element is non-static reference variable. So, it is skip and next one is what your main method. So, main method heading will be read and placed into the memory. After that in the static initialization phase what happen there is no static variable and main method is not going to be executed and after that finally, control goes to where main method. So, once main method executing definitely we have one local reference variable in this particular scenario that is what your d. Now, d will getting the memory and uh, here I am writing in the right side of the equal operator I created what your object under the main method under the main method I created one object. So, under the main method I am creating an object object creation whenever we creating an object definitely non-static loading phase will be executed. So, in this particular scenario d 1 is what here or non-static variable definitely will getting what here memory in that memory null will be placed after that main method skip again control goes to where your first statement of the class. Now, the concentration is what non-static non-static initialization phase. Now, what happen in the non-static initialization phase uh, new demo again I am creating an object in the non-static initialization phase again object creation again object creation means what again non-static loading phase will be started non-static loading phase again we have one variable like d1 so again uh, we will get what here default value like null after that control goes to where non-static initialization phase in the non-static initialization phase again we have what object creation then what happen again object creation means uh, again object creation means definitely again non-static loading phase will be happen after that 
non static initialization phase again in the non static initialization phase again what we have object creation so what happen keep on going into infinity loop that is why we are facing the problem like what stack overflow error so let me compile this one java c demo dot java and java demo stack overflow error so according to from last three videos we can able to give a beautiful summarize about a combination of reference variables static and non static object creation of same class within the same class for same class within the same class itself then now we will get uh, invalid invalid means what again stack overflow error again static reference variable nothing but static object creation and local object creation these two combinations are not a problem but if it comes to the non static reference variable and local object creations definitely we are facing the problem like what here stack overflow error these two conditions first and last condition we are facing one problem java dot lang dot stack overflow error stack overflow error so second one is what valid but again last one is what again invalid invalid these are the so this is the main concept related to reference variable up to now from the last uh, of 16 to 17 videos i did highlighting about uh, variables so we are uh, very good at uh, understanding the concept like what primitive variables as well as reference variable and its subtypes so in the next video i'm going to be talk about one more concept that is what static blocks as well as what here non static blocks i hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe narasati channel thank you